Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain on this side of the table. I'm Alex. And we are going to be playing a game of Sales of Glory. We are reenacting the War of 1812 here. I am playing the British on this side of the table. Over here I have a third rate ship of the line, the one that comes in the starter box known as the HMS Vanguard. And then over here I have a frigate or fourth rate ship known as the HMS Maleager. It is my much smaller and faster ship. Uh, and then, Alex, what are you fielding over there? This here is the USS Constitution. This oh. is the uh, 1797 version of the uh, the Constitution in the ship pack. It's the lower point value of the two um, that versions. Come, the two versions. Uh, everybody who's watching this probably knows what the USS Constitution is. It's the most famous uh, American ship from that time period, yes. And then the second ship I'm playing is the Bonham Richard. This is a converted merchant vessel that was uh, made into a warship. Uh, again, this is the smaller of the two point values at 88 points. Um, and is a large kind of like frigate. <laughs> it's weird. So yeah. it's it, we, we were just discussing this. So the Vanguard is the most powerful ship in the field, but the Maleager is the weakest because both the Constitution and the Bonham Richard are head and shoulders above the Maleager, but neither one is anywhere near as powerful as the Vanguard. The right. um, Constitution is as close uh, as either of your two ships come with being as powerful as the Vanguard. So it's, yeah. it's kind of interesting. This is yeah. thoroughly asymmetrical and much more so than the normal like British versus French Fights. Right. So this this is an unusual ship in that, it, like I said, it's a converted merchant ship. So it's yes. actually fairly fast and very maneuverable for its size. It's also very tough it's, for its firepower because because it's a big ship. It's a uh, it's got a large burden, but it is by comparison to ships of its size very underpowered with Guns. cannon. So yeah, it, it's got the same amount of firepower as the Maleager, but the Maleager has a burden of two, whereas the Bonham Richard has a burden of four so it's actually got twice the burden um i mean my vanguard only has a five so it's actually right. almost as tough though nowhere near as much firepower almost right. as tough as the vanguard which is going to be interesting it's a very different sort of ship than we've ever used i'm gonna have I've, to never, I've never i've never played with a ship that's this big and maneuverable with this a few guns so few guns usually i'm usually playing spanish fleets which are just not maneuverable all they are are gunboats so yes. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a learning experience for me too because I have right. not, not played with these type of uh, these type of ships. Before. All right. So without any further ado, let's get into it with our first planning phase. We have to plan out our moves for this turn and next turn here, and uh, also plan out our crew actions. So I am sliding. Okay. So we have done all of our orders here, and now we are going to going to now reveal our actions. So I put my preparatory. Uh, put out fire and fire left and repair as I like to do on everything as well as a raise sails. What do you got? I've got raise sails, fire left and right, and a repair on each of my ships. Okay, so we're both raising sails, so we're both going straight into full sails, and let's see what we've got. I've got a all ahead full and an all ahead full, and I am pretty sure... Let me just grab out our wind gauges here. But I am pretty sure that I'm in the green for... Yeah, you, would have, you would have really screwed up if you're not in the green initial yeah, set. I was going to say, yeah, I'm in the green, so I'm good. So, oh, let me... Uh, I just realized I forgot to grab the little laser... Oh, our, uh, yes, for, for firing. firing. Our little argument solver. Yes. This thing is so valuable. So, here we go. And let's uh, let's do this thing. So, now we're at full sails and we're both in the green. I don't even know why we keep ordering cannon fire on the first turn we know we're not going to be just, in range just because we like we have four spots and you feel like you have to fill them is that what it is you think it's like a subconscious damn i have four spots i got to do something there yeah so i'm going to move up my other uh sailing cards move up. okay move up. so move up. combat there's no way we're in range of anything just to show yeah there's the ruler we are just not in range 
to fire at anything. So uh, now we're going to go uh, right on to the very next turn and we're going to do the next planning phase. Okay, so we are back after our second planning phase. Now we're going to reveal our actions and I have a fire left, fire right, put out fire and repair on both ships. What do you got going on? Identical. Identical. Hmm. All right. And then I've got another all ahead full from either ship and I'm still in the green. I am also in the green. And are you, oh, you're not doing an all head full though. You're smidging over to me. Come a little bit closer. <laughs> You gotta go back to the dot though. No, yeah, I know. I'm like, we're so close. Not quite? Not quite. Correct. Not <laughs> quite. And that's closer than we are here. It is getting very, very close. So still no firing going to be going on. But now uh, we're gonna slide our cars right over and we are going to we are going to plan out our next action phase here. Ready? Okay, so we are back from our second yeah. action phase where I have ordered both ships identically again yeah. to do a fire left, repair, put out fire, and fire muskets. So I got people ready to jury rig damage on the ship in case you're about to dish it out. What do you got going on? Uh, same, same orders as before. Fire left, fire right, uh, put out fire, and repair. Fire left, fire right, put out fire and repair. Yeah, I did not do musketry yet. Did not do musketry. I don't I, think I, we're going to be that close. I don't think we are, but you you know, we're getting there. We are getting there. It could there. be. So let's, uh, so now now that uh, we've figured that out, let's do our movement and see exactly where we are going to be. Where are we going? We are getting close. Are getting point blank. This is going to <clears throat> this is going to definitely be in range of firing some of these ships. Oh, you came close. That's a fast ship. Oh, the Maleager? Very fast. Very fast. He's actually a, he's one of the faster frigates. He's crap for for burden though, unfortunately. Ooh. I may have outmaneuvered you a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I'm looking at this. I've got some clear shots on you that uh, you you don't have the full broadsides where you would have wanted them. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we are now in the first combat phase where this is going to matter. Mm -hmm. And I've got you with... Let me just... Let me use the laser. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I am firing a full broadside at you there. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, you turned well enough that I wasn't able to cross the T. That would have been nice. And I'm firing a full broadside right there. What are you going to do? Uh, you're going to get a broadside from there. Oh, you are going to throw a broadside. Okay. And you're going to get a frontal. From Front there. shot. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's do these. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll draw first. So you're, you're doing both. You're doing, doing both, both on the on vanguard, the, right? So you're right. Gonna, so talk to me. So what do you got for the full broadside from the what is it? The Bonham. Let's go. Oh, and are you in yellow? I think you're in yellow. I think everything's in yellow. Yeah, it looks like yellow. Everything's yellow there. So let me get there. the let me get the yellow chip pull bag. There we are. You, you might be. You bag. might be in orange here. Oh, Whoa, shit. dude. Go with. You might be. Oh, that's gonna be close. Look out. Yeah, I'm in yeah, orange. I think you got orange. Yeah, the, he's got orange. Nothing else does. So, okay. So, what's... Uh, he's the only... Well, you would have had orange if you fired front instead of broadside, but you wanted to get the, the more chip holes, which is understandable. Oh, yeah. My front uh, on that is nothing. It's two. What about the... the so, you, so, it's... So, four yellow from the bottom, Richard, onto your Vanguard. And then... Well, how many from the other? Because they're all yellow poles. And, and then you're going to get... Oh, from the Constitution? Yeah. You're going to get uh, three. 
Oh, because it's only the front. Yeah. So seven chip pulls on the Vanguard? Yes. That's a lot. That's uh, pretty bad. Okay. So let me pull out seven chip pulls. So I got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I just saw one of them and it was not good. Mm -hmm. Six, seven. I'm in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's it for the Vanguard. Now it is your turn. You're going to be getting some yellow and some orange. Right. So on the yellow, you're going to be taking on the Constitution, a full broadside. Uh, it is time for, well, I should be revealing this. Oh, on yeah. the left side, I had solid shot of both. You had solid shot as well, I'm Correct. guessing? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, the the... The Vanguard is going to cause six yellow chip pulls on the Constitution, which is not bad. I'll one, take that. Two, three, four. I saw them. It's okay. It's not that big a deal. Five, six. Okay. And then oh, that's a one. you took a full broadside. Yeah, don't drop any. You got your full six? And then you took a full broadside in orange range from the Maleager to the Bonham Richard, which is going to give you four orange chip pulls on the Bonham Richard. Two, three, and four. All right. So why don't we do one of your ships first? We'll go back and forth since we each took some damage. What do we got on the Bonham Richard? So the, let's uh, let's flip them up. That's going to be the, a zero, Ugh. a zero, three, three, a dead crew, and a four. Yeah. Okay, so its burden is what? Four. All right, so the four fills up the first box and goes face down mm -hmm. because that, that is full. The zero gets pulled off and, and put in the zero area. The three covers but does not fill the next box. And the crew, we got one dead crew. That's actually not too bad. For oranges, that, I'll take that for oranges. Yeah, that's not a bad pull for you. All right, so now we're going to do the Vanguard, which I am worried about because I saw some of them and they were not good. So, Whoa. two weeks, three oh, weeks, no. and I'm on fire. Oh, okay, so let that's, me, uh, yeah, let me. That's about as bad as you can That get. is terrible. So I got, let me just, I'm going to pull oh the real terrible God. ones up to show. Yeah, you may have just crippled the Vanguard. So if you guys can see that, let me just come around to look at the screen and make sure you can all see what I, what I got here. These all came up in a single chip pull. I am in trouble. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the, oh my, you might be about to kill me because the Vanguard is going to be sinking and fast. Oh so, my god. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so get rid of your zero. Wow. Okay, so I got one zero. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> I took a dead crew. Uh, that's actually not bad considering. I took three leaks and a fire. So now I have a hull of five. So the two. Fours will fill up the first one. Uh, then the three and the two will fill up the second one. And the two will start on the third one. Those are not my big problems. My big problems are the leaks and the fire. Three leaks. I've never seen a chip pull that bad. I'm glad we got it on film. That's amazing. Yeah, because that's uh, pretty crazy. So I'm going to go find... Glad you pulled out of the bag first. <laughs> wow. So fire. There's a fire and a leak. And i got to oh find two Lord. more leaks. I have never seen a chip pull that bad. That's insane. Well, at least you got a repair and a put out fire already in your. Orders. I do, and I'm gonna need them. Well, you gotta bail water out now too. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna switch. Pump. Oh, and I'm not. You know, this is, this is bad. I'm gonna be <laughs> sinking incredibly fast. <sighs> That's gonna cover up. I'm not sure I can even repair it quick enough. It's gonna go down really quick. Well, you gotta do the. You got. Well, I'll give it a try. Well, fortunately, no. You can put the fire out, and you can repair one of the leaks next turn. So I can. So that yeah, thing will be okay. Ooh, if you had to pull, if you had to, if you didn't have those out, I'm glad I preparatorily did that. If you yeah. hadn't done that, you'd be dead. Yeah, I'm. I'm in real trouble. Okay, okay now, now let's, let's see what you got. Let's see the Constitution. Okay, that's a, a infantry. Two zeros. Damage. Three zeros. Ooh, uh, oh, a rudder. Uh, oh, that's insult to injury. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even do any math. I didn't cause a single leak or a fire. And you got a lot of zeros. So you've got three and two fills up this with a rudder damage. So I'm going to find you a, I'll find you a rudder damage. And I need a, an infantry. Here's a rudder damage. And, oh, and you took some crew damage, yes? Yeah. And here is your crew damage. Okay, so all in all, and, uh, no, the crew damage has to cover the oh, sure, box. Yeah, box. So all in all, you're not doing too bad. That's where my other card went. On the other hand, I... Oh. You know what? Um, 
I would have to say that your decision to hit the Vanguard with both ships, highly justified. Well, that was a wise decision, and I got extremely lucky. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> At the same time. I can't believe, I've never seen a chip hole that bad. That was insane. Okay, uh, so I'm uh, going to stop repeating myself, and we're going wow. to, yeah, oh my god. We're going to go on to the planning phase for the next turn here, which uh, during, now, because I planned this turn, I'm putting the, the, re the repair is staying, the put out fire is staying, because I'm going to really need them. Uh, immediately taking one fire and three leaks. I don't know if I'm going to survive, dude. I, I'm going to have to change one of my orders. Hold on a second. This is him. Let's keep doing this backwards. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's right. That's all right now. That's all right now. That's what you have to understand. I think this ship is is done. I don't know if I can survive. Oh, you only have two orders left after this. Well, the fire will go out. Oh and, yeah, and, and I only and I only get two orders. And I'll, um, and that has to be the repair and put out fire. I, you know what? No, I'm going down. Even if I repair and put out fire, I'm still gonna have two, two orders. If I repair the leak, I'm still gonna have two. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm still going to have two waters sinking me. I'm sunk after this turn. Oh, God, really? You sunk the Vanguard in in one volley. I've never seen that. Can you even fire? <laughs> I can fire. That's all I can do. Can you fire? But you have to reload left first. No, I, I need to fire right. That's all I can do. And I'm only get, I only get two orders. That's the other thing which messes this up. I'm only going to get two orders on this. All right. But yeah, I actually have to abandon the put out fire, and the because uh, th this is this ship is a lost cause. I am going to lose this game. This is going to be a, qu a quick video. <laughs> I am ready. Okay, so we are back after having just done our planning. Now, before doing my planning, I had to d do my fire and my my water damage over here, and I just basically took a quick look at it. And the Vanguard is now down to only two crew actions per turn and it is incapable of being repaired before it sinks. It is sinking fast. That was that was insane. You were definitely justified in firing on it with both ships. And um yeah, you got a really lucky chip pull on me. Yeah, that's wow. that's and yellows. Like that would have been hard to do with purple or red. Yeah, but you got well you got seven yellow chip pulls. It was a lot. Yeah. And yeah, and that was yeah, that was brutal. Okay, so the Vanguard is in really deep trouble, and if I lose the Vanguard, I think this fight is done. Because there's no way with those basically untouched ships, neither one of them with a leak or fire, that the, the Maleager is going to be able to do crap. So without any further ado, let's see what our orders were. Uh, the Vanguard is firing right and firing muskets. The Maleager is reloading left, lowering sails, firing right, and firing muskets. I'm going all out to try to get a, a, a little bit uh, more damage in here. Oh, I don't know. I, I, this may be one of the fastest games we have ever played. Yeah. So <laughs> I move my repair over. Mm. I have reload right, fire muskets, and then water. Okay. Uh, put out fire, and then I have fire left. Put out fire, reload right, and muskets. Okay, so nothing that needs to be done immediately except for moving over your repair, which then will happen at the end of the round. Right. So let's... Uh, no, the one thing that have, needs to happen immediately here is I lower the sails. Yes. Uh, I need to do that, okay. So I have done that. Now I am in battle sails uh, here. That is my command while I am still at full sails there. However... Give me a minute. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. I should check. Oh, I'm on. I'm still in. I'm still. I'm on the line. Oh, that's orange. I think, or is it orange? No, I'm in orange. I'm not sure where you're at. Uh, I can't see. It's hard. I'll take your word for it. I still got the green. Not that it's going to do me a lot of good. He's in the orange. Oh, both, the of, Maleager, my, both the, of mine are in the orange now. The Maleager is in the orange. The Vanguard, I think. Just make sure I'm looking at this right, because I, I can't believe it. No, he's in the orange. They're in the orange. I'm in the orange. Okay, you, uh, put your cards out. Let's see where we're at. Constitution. 
and the orange. Bottom Richard in the orange. Okay, so, oh, I think we're gonna hit. Well, let's see, go ahead. Yeah, we're definitely gonna hit. Yeah, we collide. All right, right there. Okay. Which means I'm not getting that right shot, but I'm glad I did a uh, fire muskets. Let's yeah, see, let's see yeah, if that helps. Yeah. Um, the orange here. Ooh, you might be able to. Oh, you can't fire left. No, I can't. And yeah, so he's gonna waste his last turn and go down. Um, this may not make an interest interesting enough video to, to I may have to film the, the next <laughs> right, one because so this is going to be so fast so did you have a fire right left on that guy because if you did you're about to cripple the leaguer as well yeah he has a fire right the bottom Richard yes oh he did he did because I'm well, sorry no I'm fire, fire left no I did not put a fire right on him oh because I was gonna say you already fired the rights on both right yeah I did not okay. I, I have a fire left on the bottom Richard so all right so in which case uh nothing happens in the battle uh, we're gonna go right back to... Well, we got muskets. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, so in which case, we're gonna go to the battle phase, at which point we have some musket fire to do. Uh, the Maleager is gonna cause three chip pulls on the Bonham Richard. Did the Bonham Richard fire muskets? Yes. Okay, so he... How many chip pulls is he causing on me? Uh, Bonham Richard on you is three as well. Three. Okay, so we each gotta take three... Uh, musket fire chip pulls. So that is the bluish, uh, the E bag, the blue E bag. So we each gotta take three chip pulls. This is not gonna be, I doubt this is gonna be game changing. <laughs> but let's see how this goes. My three. All right, what did you get? I got one zero zero. So one crew down. Yeah. I got. A zero, a zero, oh, oh, oh. and one crew down. So you killed one of my crews on the Maleager too. Not really game changing, mind you, yeah. but uh, it is it is what it is. So now we're gonna head on to the beginning of the next turn, at which point at the very beginning of the turn, the Vanguard sinks. The uh, the let me just pull this camera over here to show you what I'm looking at, but the Vanguard was dealing with so much fire and sinking that even if I had repaired one of the leaks and put out the fire, I still would have taken two leaks and it would have sunk regardless, which is why I didn't bother and I just tried to get one more shot off with it. Unfortunately, I was unable to get a shot off with it. So my Maleager is mostly untouched, but I have a feeling this is about to become a very one-sided fight right here because the Maleager's only got a burden of two. So I'm gonna pull the Vanguard off the field the Vanguard is done. Let's do our let's do our uh, command phase here. All right. So I repaired my rudder, which I can do as often as I want. So there's no point keeping track of it. Oh, and I did I did get to reload uh, at the end of the last round, which is I reloaded everybody, which is good. Um, you reloaded. I reloaded. There's been lots of reloading. Let's let's do reloaded. this thing. You know what? Um, it's going to be really interesting, depending on... Well, let's play it out. You know what? I was I was going to call it, but let's play it out because, well, for see, one, fun. See what happens, right? for, for, for one, fun. And for two, um, who knows? Maybe I'll get a crazy lucky shot on you. Yeah, right? I mean, obviously, they can happen. Clearly. Clearly. That was insane. That was crazy. Um, I am looking for a Hail Mary here at this point because this is like... I mean, you have two ships that are way more powerful than my Maleager. I wouldn't bet on my Maleager on a one-on-one -on -one fight against either of your ships. And I'm about to try to face off against two of them. The only thing my Maleager is better at is speed in regard to your ships. Right. <laughs> and I can't damage you with speed, unfortunately. Oh, well, well, you could leave your edge of the board and... And surrender? <coughs> retreat. <laughs> I could. I could leave any edge of the board and surrender, and yeah. it, it doesn't make it any less of a loss. It's still a loss. I'm going to lose this game. But you know what? You know what? Lucky chip pull or no lucky chip pull, you beat me. <laughs> so this is... Uh, wow. God, the, uh, I, I have a newfound 
amazing amount of respect for the American fleet. Those ships are good. They're really good. Granted, granted, it was a lucky chip. It was a lucky. It was, it was that, very but, lucky. But those are good ships. Those are really good ships. They did a lot of damage. Even even without getting all of those, the fire and all of those leaks, the the amount of damage you were able to put on the Vanguard between the two of them and tag team them was really awesome. Mm, okay. So I gotta go this way. My planning is a lot easier now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, much, much. All right, so let's reveal our orders. Are you all ready? Yep. Okay, so my, my little Maleager is firing muskets, firing right, firing left, and raising sails. What do you got going on? Uh, firing left, firing right, lowering sails. That's for the bottom? For both. Firing left, firing right, lowering sails, and musket. Now, it looks like we're all in the orange. I think everybody's in the orange at this point. I'm certainly in the orange, yeah. yeah. I don't know about you. Oh, I'm in the orange. Oh, I'm definitely in the orange. Yeah, we're all in the orange. Right. So nobody's nobody's at their max maneuverability. So I'm moving. No, I did just I did just raise sails. So you didn't. You can. So I will I will move fairly quickly. Now you're going to have to get out of my way first, though. So so let's get the uh, uh, let's start. Well, let's start with. Uh, no, no. What I was going to say is move, move. Go ahead and move the Bonham Richard first, because I'm going to move beyond you. I've gone to full sails. Oh, but I move the Bonham Richard first, and then I can see where I go. So I've dropped, and ugh. hold can on. You lift yours up, Jay. Yes, I can do that. Go ahead. And you go to the okay. Pull your, pull your. Actually, you know what? Just pull your ship out. Uh, keep your finger on the card for yeah. For, right, I'm good. for your. Because I raised mine back up. And I'm going to get way out of your way. Ooh, you might have a good shot on me. I hope I do. Here's hoping. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, I got a raking shot from the rear. Yeah. Or I can get a regular shot from the front. Oh, okay, interesting. What do you do? <laughs> uh, well, the raking shot from the rear is one stronger. The the See, let me let me just take a look. Where's the, where's the laser light? Uh, oops, wrong way. You might be in some trouble, though. Yeah, I. Uh, you, I, I look I already, at how close I was to have a, a raking shot from the from the from the broadside, though. Look at this. Look at how close oh. that is. Do you see that? Yeah. It is like a, a millimeter off from having it. But from for the raking shot from the rear Here, will allow me to do um, five chip pulls, which is not bad for the Maleager. I got a raking shot on your rear from my front. Oh, yeah, you're probably going to cripple the Maleager right now. And can you, do, are you going to get a left, you're going to get a left shot, I think, from your... Oh, yeah. Not the broadside, though. No, not the, the broad, not the broadside, not the rear. All right, this is going to be it. Let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, let's see it happen. Uh, now, I think we're out of musket range. Let me see. Yeah, we're out of musket okay. range. So the muskets are not going to connect. So why don't we, uh, why don't you do the massive amount of damage to me first? What do you got coming out of me? Okay, so you're going to get... This is definitely orange. That's orange too, right? Yeah, we're... Everybody. Everything's orange. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me get the, the B bag, the orange B bag. <laughs> what do you got? So you're going to get a rear shot from the bottom, which is going to be two. Two chip holes? Two chip holes. I can, okay, two chip holes. You're going to get a raking shot. From, from the, the, is it the full broadside or the front? No, from the front. Okay, so, so how many chip holes does that normally cause? So it's normally going to be three. But so that's five. But it's on your rear. So it's five. Yeah. So three, because then it's every two, two gives you an extra one rounded yeah. up. So three turns into a five and gives two extra. Right. So this is going to be five more. This is going to be brutal. This is going to rip the uh, poor little Maleager apart. One, two, three, and two more. Four, five. But let's see if I can do some massive damage on my way out. We're going to cause five chip pulls myself from the fire right, which, by the way, was just a regular solid shot. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to reveal that. Oh, yeah, as we're mine, I'm sorry. Mine were both fire and left. Yes, yeah, those were your left. So now um, you are going to take five orange chip pulls on the bottom, Richard. One, two. Lovely, lovely crossing of the T's. It's too bad you did it to me, too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the game after this round. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's see. Uh, now, you, I took a lot more damage than you did. Let's see what happened to the... Uh, Ooh, I lost the sail. Sail damage. Well, the first sail damage doesn't really do anything. Yeah. So you lose the zero. You got, what, a crew death on the Richard? Give me a crew. Here's a crew death. 
So you lost some crew, but then what do we got on the damage? You've got so the so four. The four will help fill off that. Well, hold on. No, you had one in, in oh, process. That's right. The four, four fills off the one in process. Three. And the two will finish that one up too. Two. And then a sail damage. And you took a, and I'll give you a sail damage. Which the first one doesn't even really do anything. Okay, so actually that's not bad. I did actually do a fair amount of damage to the bottom Richard. However, that burden of four is just hard. To it overcome. really is. It's it's hard to overcome, especially for a little burden two ship like mine. Now let's. Oh, I'm a fire. God. Oh god. Uh, oh, oh I'm, no. I'm a leaking. Oh no. Um, wow. Okay. Um, deja vu all over again. So. Let me just, uh, I'm going to put the full, you know, not even just the key ones. I'm going to put the full damage up to the counter so they can see exactly what you just did to the poor little Maleager. There's the damage pull for the Maleager. We have a lot of damage. We have on fire, leaking, and two dead crew. Oh, man. You know what? I'm not going to say this game wasn't fun, but boy, was it one-sided. I'm, yeah. I'm getting my ass handed to me here. So... So I got two dead crew. Oh, you still have four orders, though. I get one. I think you're still gonna have four orders. Well, but hold on. But I'm also burning and leaking, and I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't able to have a repair going. Oh shoot. I'm I'm going under oh, too. No. So I got fire. I got I got fire and water. Um, okay, so let's see. This is actually the first damage to the yeah. ship, though. However, oh, it's only got two. It's only got two burden. Oh, no. Three fills a box. Three fills a box. Two fills a box. Oh, no. The two ones fill a box. Oh, and no. I have a halfway filled box. Oh, which means no. at, the, at the beginning of the next turn. No, no. It's going to be one order. Beginning of the next turn, I take oh. a fire and water damage. So the, he is oh, no. he is basically sunk. There is no coming back for the Maleager. Because he's going to have one action and it will not be enough to repair. Stop the fire. <laughs> And, and pump the water. And pump the water. So at this point, I think we can call it yeah. as a repeat of what happened during the War of 1812. <laughs> America has won the War of 1812. Hoorah, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Holy wow. Crap. That was one of the fastest games yeah. of Sales of Glory we have ever played. Boy, did uh, I just get like obliterated. It wasn't even 45 minutes. Holy crud. So you know what though, it was still fun. Yeah. Uh, even though, even though I got, I got totally obliterated. Wow. This is one of those games where I don't mind losing. This and is a fun game to lose. It is a fun game to lose. Yeah. It. Uh, I've never seen a chip pull as bad as that first one I took on the Vanguard. My and then this, the second one wasn't the too shabby either. Yeah, on your yeah. Leader, it wasn't that. But I mean, bad. at that point, you were hitting me with two big yeah. ships on a ship with two burden. I was expecting it to get obliterated. Right. Plus, they were orange chip pulls. Right. You should get that much damage for an orange chip pull. Yeah. That was. That was not that substant, not that um, surprising. Surprising yeah. for orange chip holes. The yellow chip holes. That was crazy. Where yeah, you yeah, did a that, lot that, of damage. You play this game a hundred more times and not have something like that. No, that was crazy. But that you know what? That's okay. I had a good time. Um, what do you think of your new American fleet? I like it. I didn't get the <laughs> so I did not get the chance to maneuver quite as much as I thought I could. But it's fast. It's, it's fast, it's maneuverable, and wow, I mean, yes, okay, so neither of these ships are on par with, fully, with a third-rate ship of the line, but also, neither one is a slouch, either. No, the, actually, the, the burden on the bottom, Richard, for as fast as it goes, that four burden is it's actually, brutal. It's really good, because you can, oh my god, you can, I could, I got into position with your, uh, beleaguer, and stayed with it the entire time. Yeah. I had no problem. You, you were you, you were a little slower and a little less maneuverable, right. but you ignored the Maleager for the first fight and were able to concentrate fire on the Vanguard and down goes the Vanguard. So that went, I mean, and then the rest of the game was definitely yeah. went your way. I mean, at that point it was like, yeah, with yeah. how much damage the Vanguard had and it didn't even get one more shot off before it went, I, I knew I was like, yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Three leaks. That's... Yeah, there's no, and a fire. That's yeah. There's no coming. Even, there's even, no coming back from yeah, that. You might have gotten if it was just if you had one less of any of those, you might have lasted one more. Maybe round, but I yeah. might have even been able to repair it if it was only if it, if it was only two weeks in a fire. I might have been able to, to deal with maybe. it. Maybe, but, but you'd have been all purely defensive. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have. Oh, been, it would have taken me out of the fight anyway. Yeah, yeah, and you'd have been able to take care of them. It still would have been your game, even right. if it was a little less severe on that shot. But that was that was fun. 
It was a good game. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? I'm not very good with the British fleet at this size anyway. And actually, before going in, because uh, I'm not very good with the Vanguard and the Maligar. They're not uh, tough enough for the way I usually play. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to get a rematch where I play my French fleet at this size. At the, we, This is what, 210 points? 210? Two, yeah, actually, these, these the point totals are identical for this fleet. We're both at 204. 204. But if this would be like, we call it like the 210 weight class. Yeah. So if I if I were to go to the 210 point weight class with the French, I like those ships better. Uh, and if I didn't have a ridiculously unlucky chipful like yeah. I just did, yeah. I think I might have fared better. But, um, but wow, that was really cool. Um, and wow, are these ships amazing. They're so pretty. I really, really like the Constitution. Yeah. And, you know, the Bonham Richard, it's, it's not bad. he looks really good, too. He's a good-looking ship also. And you can see, you know, you were talking about, like, he's so big, but he doesn't have a lot of cannons. Look at the cannon placement on him. You can see that there's large amounts of space between a lot of the cannons. Right, and some of them are deck-mounted. Yeah. Which is... So he doesn't have as, as many heavy cannons. Because, right. again, it was a converted merchant vessel. Yeah. So that's it. So if you guys enjoyed watching this playthrough of Sales of Glory, be sure to give it a like. Mm-hmm. Share it on all forms of social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game, game on. on.